Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Day in the Life video. This week, we are recovering from finals, and we're getting straight into doing some work on some projects that we have coming up in the classes that we just finished our finals in, in healthcare delivery, as well as applied exercise science. I'll make sure to put all of the assignments that are due this week right here, right now, so that you can have an idea what's going on, but pretty much as you can see, we're pretty busy still in medical conditions, going through a lot of the material to finish off that course, since that final will be coming up in about two weeks from now. And then for the other classes, we have an innovation project where we're thinking of a new clinic program or a fundraiser to do for an imaginary clinic that the professors provided to us just to get us kind of thinking in an entrepreneurial mindset as that's one of the things that kind of CAPTI and everyone who regulates the PT programs likes to include in there. So our professors just put a fun spin on it. And then we also have for our applied exercise science, taking that case that we had brought back from CE2 and applying it in applied exercise science, creating kind of a plan for them and creating a presentation that we will show to the rest of our classmates so there's lots to do this week. I think I'm going to start off with just working on a little bit of the pre-work for medical conditions as a lot of that is what's front loaded on this week and will just get me a good start for everything else. Well, yesterday ended up being just a kind of relaxing day where I did a little bit of schoolwork just to finish up those last bits of the pre-work that I needed to do for tomorrow, but it wasn't anything too stressful. And then this morning we already had class for healthcare delivery where we started to work on our innovation projects. So that's pretty much what's been going on so far. I've had my lunch now and I'm going to head back to class for medical conditions where we're kind of having a kind of journal club with a few articles that they had us read about older adults and frailty and a lot of the different aspects of care for these older individuals and talking about prognosis when people are coming into surgeries, being de dehydrated and how that can be affected by the anesthesia and everything. So lots of discussion will be happening this afternoon and then in the evening, it should be a good time for me to just keep working on the projects that I have this week and get some stuff done. Well, this morning in medical conditions, we went over a good review of and kind of like everything that's going to be covered in terms of pain and pain neuroscience education on the NPTE. So it was a good review. And then in the afternoon, I went off to do some research and then ended up working on a bit of my assignment that's due on Thursday, which is kind of a review of all of the screening portions of all of our medical conditions classes and each of us are assigned one and we'll talk to other people on the class on Thursday of the other pieces of it. So for example, I have the cardiopulmonary and other people that will be in my group will have medications, for example. Some of the other will have the endocrine system. So just making sure that we're covering everything and reviewing it all. So that's pretty much what this afternoon was. And then now I'm heading off to work where I am hopefully going to knock out a little bit of work for research as well as doing some items related to my applied exercise science case presentation that is due on Thursday night as well. I didn't record class this morning, mainly just because we just hopped straight into things and just had some work time on our innovation projects that we're doing in healthcare delivery from 9 until noon. But now I am all done with class for the day. I just have a 
mock interview with one of our faculty members at about 3.30, I believe, so I still have a few hours before that happens. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and work on my Applied Exercise Science presentation that will be due on Thursday in the afternoon, and then also later tonight I need to make sure that I knock out my other assignment for medical conditions since we'll be working on cases in class on Thursday, so that's just another thing to check off. But outside of that, last night I actually heard some really good news. The fact that the last location that I was hearing from to see if I had interviews or not for my clinical experience number three, I heard from, and I have two interviews that will be coming up, not next week, but the following and the week after that for our opportunity to be with them during clinical experience number three. After we do those interviews, then we still have to rank the choices that we did interview with, and they rank us, and the school kind of puts together the best matches possible, seeing how everyone ranked each other. So it will be something that I'll learn about later on, but now I can actually start preparing for interviews, and I'm really excited for it because it's one of the locations that I was really hoping that I would have the opportunity to be at. But now that class is done, I've had some lunch, I'm going to head over to the library and get some stuff done. Well, it's pretty much the end of Friday. I just spent today doing a couple of meetings and getting a few things done outside of schoolwork because I know that this weekend is going to be so busy preparing for our final final next week in medical conditions as well as finishing up our innovation project for healthcare delivery too. But this week was full of a lot of project work, preparing for those finals, getting the last bits of information that we can for medical conditions, doing some more research and getting work in. So it's been a very busy week, but we just have one more week left of this semester to finish it out before we go into our clinical experience number three interviews and match process, and then eventually our final didactic semester in the summer with our electives and everything. So if you want to see me finish out the last week of this semester, make sure to check out the video next week. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. If you want 20% off a Picmonic subscription to help prepare you for the MBTE coming up in the fall, make sure to check out that in the description as well. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been KBDDT, and I'll see you all in the next video.